Today we'll be talking about injective, surjective, and bijective functions. My name is Jenny Lee. And I'm Ben Ostele. Okay, so just a quick intro to functions. A function is something that relates an input or a set of inputs to an output. And the set of all things that go into the function is called the domain. And the set of all things that could possibly come out of the function is called the codomain. And this is different from what actually comes out of the function because that's called the range. And then quickly we can look at the notation for functions. So when we say that, so when we want to specify a function, a function's codomain and its domain, we would say that a function goes from, say, the set of all integers to the set of all positive integers. And we can say that like this. f from the set of all integers to the set of all positive integers is defined by f of x equals x squared. So to go through all the different kinds of functions, we'll start with what an injective function is. They're also known as one-to-one -one functions, and these are functions that never assign the same value to two different domain elements. So as we just said, uh, a function's input is comes from the domain, and so every input has a unique output, so a unique codomain output. And so an uh, injective function is injective if and only if f of a equals f of b implies a is equal to b for all a and b in the domain. So that means the function must take on different values for all elements in its domain. So go through an example. In this example, uh, this function is defined from all positive integers to integers defined by f of x, f of x is equal to x squared. So as we can see, every value in the domain here has a unique codomain value. That means every input here has reached an, a unique output. And so an important thing to remember about the definition of functions is that um, an input cannot have more than one output. So uh, that's just an, an aside over here. And additionally, um, we can see that there's one output here that hasn't that doesn't have a domain value, and that's fine for a one-to-one -one function. That is not a requirement. A requirement is just that every value in the domain must have a unique codomain value. For surjective functions, they are also known as onto functions, and this is a function that is from A to B, and it's only if and only if for every element B and B in the set B, there is an element A in set A with f of A is equal to B. So that means that every value in the codomain, which is what we mean by b, uh, is an output of the function, so f of a. So an example of a surjective function is this function right here, which is defined by real numbers to positive real numbers, f of x is equal to x squared. So as I said earlier, uh, a function cannot have um, an input that has more than one output. And then in this case, we can have two inputs that have the same output. And so here, every value in the codomain has a domain value. So uh, it's OK if two inputs have the same output. Because um, right here, f of x is equal to x squared. f of negative 1 is equal to f of 1 is equal to 1. So that's an example of where two domain inputs can have the same codomain output. And a bijective function is a function that is both one-to-one -one and onto and satisfies the requirements for both of them. So every x in the domain corresponds to only one unique y in the codomain, and every value in the codomain corresponds to an x in the domain. So that means that not only does every input have to have a unique output, but every output has to have or every value in the codomain has to have an input value. So in this example, which is a function defined uh, from all reals to all reals, and is f of x equal to x plus 1, every value in the domain right here has a unique codomain value. And so that makes it on 1 to 1. And every codomain value here has a uh, input value. So that makes it on 2. And so this function satisfies the requirements for being one-to-one -one and onto, and so is bijective. Okay, so if we work through if an example problem, uh, we have three functions, and we need to tell if each function is bijective. So 
To do this, we need to look at each, each function, see if it's one to one, then see if it's on to, and then determine if, if it's both of them, and if it is, then it is bijective. And so for each of these functions, we'll be looking at a codomain of all real numbers and a domain of all real numbers. So if we take a look at f of x equals 2x plus 1, uh, you can see just from looking at the graph that I'm pretty sure it's bijective. Uh, just because it's linear, so you can see that every value on the domain, which is x, has one value on the codomain, which is y, the line, no matter where we draw. So if we take a look at, say, so let's take a look at a codomain, just a few values here. So you can see that 0 0.25 corresponds to 1.5 in the codomain. 0 0.5 corresponds to 2 in the codomain. 0 0.75, that would be 2.5. And then, of course, 1 is 3. So from what we've seen just from a little range from here to here, that it is one to one, or yeah, it is one to one because each of these values in the domain goes to a unique value in the codomain, and it's also onto because there are no missing values along the line here, and there are no missing values that we found in the codomain from the values we looked at. So if there was a hole in the line, say right here, then it wouldn't be onto because there would be some at least one real number in the codomain that wasn't that didn't have a corresponding input from the domain so then it wouldn't be one to one but because it is continuous because we didn't we found that it was indeed onto or it was one to one then this function is bijective okay. so for the second example it is f of x is equal to x squared plus one so starting with whether this function is one to one or not, we can look at some different values. So f of x, um, if it's f of one, that would be one squared plus one, which is equal to two. And then let's look at f of negative one, which is also one squared plus one, which is also equal to two. As we can see, this function cannot be one to one because two different inputs have the same output. And we can see that here with 1 and negative 1 having the same value. And that will be true with a bunch of other different elements, that there are the same values for many, many different um, outputs in the range. So therefore, this function cannot be 1 to 1 because it doesn't have a unique y for every x. But as for um, whether this function is onto, it would be onto because every value, as you can see on the line, has um, every output does have an input. So that makes it onto, but since it's not one to one, this function is not bijective. So, for a summary of what we have covered today, a function relates an input to an output, and the domain is all possible values for the input, and the codomain is all possible values for the output. This is different from the range, which is the actual um, values that are for the output. An injective function is a one-to-one -one function, which means that there is a unique y for every input, or there's a unique output for every input in the function. A surjective function is onto, which means that for every codomain, or for every range, or for every codomain, there is a value that gives the codomain value. So for every y, there is an input x that gives f, f of x is equal to y.